So what is the difference between recording the MIDI note information from a keyboard and recording the keyboard sound itself? Well, in this video, I'm gonna let you know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today where I help you create, record and release your best music. Now, this is a question that I get asked quite a bit and it's from folks who are starting out in recording and they wanna know the difference between MIDI recording and an actual audio recording of your keyboard sound. So I'm here in my echoey kitchen here today because that's where my piano is and this piano can be played as a regular piano. We can record that on our iPad here using the built-in microphone, or we can connect it up using something like a guitar cable from the headphone jack or any line out port if your keyboard has that, and then we can record the actual sound. That's got nothing to do with MIDI though, because you're actually recording the analog sound. You're using some sort of analog to digital converter like this. This is the Tascam IXZ, or you could use a USB audio interface, or you could even just microphone, mic up your actual piano and record it to your DAW. So that's recording the audio. MIDI is something different, which I'm going to explain now. So MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface, and it's a standard that's been around since the 1980s. It allows you to connect one digital device, like a MIDI keyboard, to another digital device, like your Mac, your PC, your iPhone, or your iPad. And what it actually does is it does not send any audio. It sends data. It sends note information about which note you're hitting, how hard you're hitting it, the sustain, the modulation, the pitch bend, all of those things that our MIDI keyboards can actually do. It will send that information. So no audio is actually passing through a MIDI connection. And that is the fundamental concept here is that MIDI is data and audio is audio. MIDI is digital and audio is taking an analog audio source and converting it into a digital playback. The key thing with MIDI is that you're not actually sending the sound, you are controlling a virtual instrument at the other end. So if you're on your DAW in GarageBand on your iPad like I use, or any other DAW, you need to actually be triggering a MIDI instrument or a MIDI channel or a virtual instrument. Now, that's a lot of talk and you're probably already with me, but why don't we jump over here and I'll show you a practical demonstration of the difference between MIDI and audio. So in its simplest form, if we just want to record the sound of this piano to my iPad here, in this case running GarageBand, I can come in here, I can select an audio recorder track, and I can hit the record button at the top here. It'll count me in. I can then just play a couple of chords very badly, and it has recorded that sound. So we go back to our track view here, and there we go. It's recorded that sound. We can play it back. I can then just including my talking, play a couple of chords, and there we go. So it's not recording great quality. Obviously, we're here in an echoey kitchen, so it's not gonna be great anyway. The next option that we actually have is that we can use some sort of audio interface. Now, I'm gonna just use the Tascam IXZ, which is a handy little portable interface for the iPad here. Uh, I've got a bunch of other videos all about audio interfaces you can check out up there if you're keen on finding out how to connect up your devices to record the analog audio. But I've just got a standard guitar cable and the Tascam IXZ. So let's get this connected and then show you how we can record the audio sound again. So one end of the guitar cable goes into the headphone output here, or if you've got a line output, you can do that. Now, if you've got a stereo line out, you can get a stereo interface and capture stereo sound. I'm just going to do mono for this one. So I'm just gonna snap that into here, make sure that this is on instrument mode, which it is, phantom power is off, and we're good to go. So this is now connected up. This three and a half mil jack will go into my iPad. And once again, if you've got a newer iPad, it's not gonna have a headphone jack or an iPhone, you'll need a USB or a lightning based interface videos in the description. What we can now do is grab my iPad here, uh, find the three and a half mil jack on this end, plug that in and we're good to go. So now we'll reset ourselves back up and we'll record in using this interface setup. So we'll grab ourselves another track here. We'll hit the plus button and we'll just go audio recorder again. We've got another clean track in here. We can come out of there and we're ready to record now onto this track via our Tascam IXZ. So now instead of just capturing the raw sound here, it's gonna send the signal out of here and then into here and you'll notice that because I've got my headphone jack used, I can't hear any of the sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the record button here and then let's just play. So you can't hear that, you might, because I might put the audio through there. We're gonna press stop, and then when we go back to our track view, 
Well, there we are. It's recorded that audio and we're gonna get, this time, better quality sound. So let's just unplug the Tascam and just play this back. I can then just play it. And if I, well, I, I had both of those on there. Let's just try just that one. There you go, so you can actually hear that it's only capturing that sound, it's much better quality. And again, these first two examples are using analog to digital conversion. We're getting a digital recording, but we're getting the analog source. So it's now time to talk about MIDI and how we can connect this up and capture a MIDI signal. Now here's a device that I prepared earlier. This is a lightning to USB adapter connected up to a USB cable, which is plugged in underneath the piano. It's in an awkward spot. I won't show you exactly how that is, but all I need to do here is go to my lightning port on my iPad and plug this one in here like so, click. And that's gonna be connected now. It's now ready to accept a MIDI signal. Now the difference here is we're not recording audio, we're recording data. So what do we do with this or data, data? What do you say, data? We're gonna hit the plus button here. Now, if we put an audio recorder track on, not gonna work. We need to use a virtual instrument, which will help if we press the right button. We need to find our piano. So let's come over here to our piano. We're going to tap on that one. And now we have our piano here. What I'm gonna do is turn the volume all the way down on my actual keyboard. So there's nothing coming through there, but why do we still have sound? Let's just turn up the sound here. Why do we still have sound coming through our iPad? Well, It is because we're now controlling this virtual piano using our real keyboard. So this is the basis of all MIDI. You can use the keyboard here, and you can punch it in there, or you can use this keyboard. And when we record, let's hit the record button and just record a chord here. And once again, we need to remember to solo our tracks. Good job, Pete. So if we come out here, we'll just turn that one off. If we now play this back, it's playing back that sound, but it's only the data that's in there. When we come in here, this is not audio, right? This is just MIDI data. So this is just telling us which notes were being played and what velocity they were. And we can adjust this now and edit these notes. And now we can actually move them. Want a different chord? Yep. We can change that around, we can edit these notes, we can move them about, we can do what we want to do. So that is the key difference. If you're wanting to know the difference between recording the audio and recording MIDI, hopefully this gives you an example. We've got our audio waveform there where we're recording the actual analog audio, converting that to digital. In the MIDI world, we're simply capturing data. So all this keyboard is doing is sending note information into our digital audio workstation, in this case our iPad running GarageBand, and then it can play back Back that data using whichever virtual instrument we want. And the beauty part is that we can use this keyboard to play any instrument we want. Want to play some strings? We can do that here. So you can see the power and flexibility of MIDI. You can send the note information, you can then trigger your drums, your samples, you can trigger your keyboards, any virtual instrument. It's super cool. I hope you found this useful and I hope you now know a really clear idea of the difference between recording MIDI and recording audio here on your digital audio workstation.